Hey, it's Phoebe, and today I'm starting a solo road trip. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I am in way over my head here. <laughs> I have never driven a vehicle this big before, and I am so far out of my comfort zone, it's crazy. But I just moved to tropical North Queensland after my breakup, and I want to explore my new home and have an adventure just for me. Honestly, my confidence is kind of shot and I just want to be able to start building that trust in myself. And this road trip is my first step of doing that. I think can and will kill you. The people's champion! One of you is gonna have to tell my mom that we broke a van. This is amazing. This is terrifying. You, were t you tell me you think I'm brave. Thank you. I'm always terrified. That's why I do these things, because I'm afraid. I believe that whatever you're afraid of, you should just do it, and then you won't be afraid of it anymore because you'll know whether it's right for you or not. It took a little over an hour to drive south from Cairns to Babinda, and we're visiting a little spot called the Babinda Boulders, and the whole drive here was beautiful. Now I pulled into the car park, there is easy caravan parking for me, which I really appreciate because I'm trying to get my parking confidence up, but I'm very nervous about it. So I'm just trying to play it safe and go to spots that make it easy for me. And this is one of them. Now there are a lot of people here. It is a Sunday. It's the middle of the day. It's a very hot day. So I get it. And I'm feeling really intimidated. <laughs> I need to get my vlogging confidence up. I'm Vlogging in Australia is my weakness. I get really nervous. I get really self... Um, What's the word? Why can't I think of the word? Self-conscious! I get really self-conscious. So I'm just gonna try and be brave and just film and photograph and do exactly what I need to do and you're here with me. So if we have an Uluwatu style meltdown, it's okay. We untangled our fate. I gave it all. Guess I left it at your place. Some days mm, I wake from a dream Expecting your face But I'm half asleep Left to myself Can't figure out Where do feelings go? I've been doing better here I 10 out of 10 recommend that now there were two spots that you could go to there was sort of like you walk down a walkway and you can go down the path very busy lots of people lots of bags not for introvert time but if you look to your right you'll see a pagoda sort of when you're walking down you once you get here you'll know it's like a like a covered hut thing head down that way much quieter introvert time I kind of carried my bags through the water a little bit and found a quiet spot up in the bush <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so anti-social um I absolutely love that but I want to go somewhere else now let's go somewhere else I'm feeling I'm feeling good I'm feeling good let's go somewhere else and see something else beautiful no trace I guess that's okay There's no need to blame No one's at fault The waves will always break And pray It's just a game Playing it out About 20 minutes drive from the Babinda Boulders is Josephine Falls. I nearly didn't come here. I just wanted to go straight to where we're spending the night, but I'm so glad we stopped because it is absolutely beautiful. Now it's about a 700 meter walk from the car park to the falls viewing area. It's uphill, but only slightly, super manageable. And you can jump in for a swim down the bottom. 
I would recommend having a couple of hours to spend here. The walk to get here is spectacular. It is so good for the soul and then standing there in front of that waterfall is just oh, magic for your heart. I just have to say a huge thank you to my parents because this van is not mine. I did not run out and buy a van. <laughs> it belongs to my mom and dad. So a huge thank you to them for letting me borrow their amazing van so I can go out and have this wonderful adventure. They love you guys. They love what we do here on YouTube and they just wanted to show some support and be there for all of us. So thank you to them. Oh my God, it's a cassowary. What in the... <laughs> What in the holy what what? That thing is no joke. That is the most dangerous bird in the world. That thing can and will kill you. Let's go say hello. <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrified. Ah, okay. Oh, hello. Oh my god, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Almost 10 years. I'm done. Literally walking back to the van on my way to go and cook dinner and I thought we'll cook a lovely fresh healthy dinner and we'll come down to the beach and we'll eat and we'll feast and we'll just have the best time and then I walked past the fish and chip shop oh. and everybody outside looked like they were having a ripping time and I was like I want in on fish and chips so that's what we're doing mm. my god that hits the spot all right, this place. Look at the portion size. This is the small, $12. Chips, sauce is free. If you're Australian, you know what that means. It's a reputable establishment. That means something in our culture. Sauce is free, as much as you like. And um, let's start with the chips. Oh. Really good chips. And the fish, I don't know what kind of fish it is. You could choose crumbed or battered. I went for crumbed. Mm. This is really nice. You know, I was just about to sit down when I go back to the van to start cooking. I was just about to sit down and tell you that I felt sad. <laughs> I was just feeling a bit like scooped out, like my insides were scooped out. I was not feeling very full in my heart or my soul. I was feeling kind of lonely. Suddenly sitting down here on this beach with this fish and chips, just taking some time to be still and be a bit more grounded I I feel okay I feel better I feel happier I just just wish I had someone to share it with <laughs> it's the sad little truth I have you I have you you take care of me you guys always take such good care of me <laughs> over here is starting to get that bright purpley pink to them. The sun is coming up. This is really nice. These are the moments I live for. <laughs> this is really, really nice. 
It is so quiet on this beach. There are only like this cute couple. There are another couple of guys down there, but there's no one else here. It was so busy yesterday afternoon with all the families enjoying it, but now it's just so quiet. The sound of that water, it's like it washes over your soul. It's moments like this that you remember just how good life is and how much goodness there is all around us. How beautiful it is. It's so beautiful here. I'd never heard of Eddie Bay. I'm so glad I came and I absolutely love it. This is one of the happiest moments I've had <laughs> since this whole thing happened. It's funny how I felt so... I had that moment yesterday where I felt sad and lonely and like, what are you doing out here? By yourself, driving around in a van, lose her. <laughs> and then you have a moment like this, or an afternoon like yesterday, particularly this morning's moment, is just, it just reminds you that everything's okay. I just moved up here. Oh I just God. moved to the region and so I borrowed my mum's van. She has an amazing like Mercedes Sprinter all kitted out and I'm kind of driving around the region just yeah checking it out. Um, I'm at the Mamu, Mamu Skywalk. Mamu Tropical Skywalk. Mamu Tropical Skywalk and this lovely man is John and he's a wonderful greeter here and kind of welcomes people and tells you about the area so he's going to give us an intro. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. This place is right on the edge of the Wurundjeri National Park and in 2006 there was a dreadful cyclone through here called Larry. Mm -hmm. What Larry did was cause a lot of destruction this part of the oh. National Park. Now because it's National that. Park the state government uh, made the decision because there was all of this damage mm -hmm. that let's build the skywalk. Mm -hmm. So my ticket to get into Mamu Skywalk was $28 but there's another attraction in the area called the Paranella Park um, and I was thinking about going to see that as well but I'm not going to be able to squeeze that in today but if you come here and you do Mamu um, then you can get a two-park pass which should save you a little bit of money if you want to do that now it is really 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 hot today and I was trying to find a way to beat the heat and being here under this canopy is the perfect way to do that it's nice and cool in here the path is really well maintained um, nice and relaxing a little bit of nature hopefully some great views you know how we do so yeah let's just have a little walk and have a lovely time it cannot be denied. you're the fire in my bones oh the song upon my soul in the god let the whole Every day when the sun rises, I feel love beating down my door. Every night when the moon is shining, I pray you'll be coming back for more. Wow, this is. Amazing. This is, I'm really glad I did this. This is beautiful. These views are insane. Oh, I wish I brought my morning tea. I have it all to myself. There's no one else here but me. I'm having a really good day today. I just feel like I've got a little bit of my magic back. A little bit of my sparkle back. I can just feel that flow, that buzz, that energy. It feels so good. Oh, a couple of things have happened. One, I wanted to stop at two waterfalls. Technically three. One was Wallacha and Chupala. I keep saying Chalupa and that's wrong. Chupala, I think. 
I missed it and I was like that's alright we'll stop at Nendroya that's the next one missed that as well there needs to be some better signage <laughs> I missed them both if you're looking for them they're out there um, don't be a dummy like me and miss them and then I was like I'll turn around and go back to Nandroya there was nowhere to turn around when you were in a vehicle of this size so we're in Miller Miller we just have to skip those ones but I live in this region now right so we can always come back and do those again in another episode so the other thing that went wrong is one of you not me one of you is gonna have to tell my mom that we broke a van shotgun not um i had all the drawers secured is the thing and this one just came flying out of its own accord it was done and someone's gonna tell mom we broke it <laughs> i'm terrified of it she can whoop my butt i'm 35 and like three times her size this woman is tiny but she is freakishly strong oh my god all right i've cleaned up the crime scene of that dang drawer um and i found somewhere they were gonna go so this is somewhere that i had on my list as a maybe if i got time but it's kind of out of the way from where i'm going over the next few days and i didn't think i would make it so i think now is the time to go if i don't go today and i don't go now with this space i have i'm not gonna go there so let's go there i am incredibly annoyed <sighs> I just wasted an hour's worth of fuel and let me tell you something fuel ain't cheap guys I drove I I put Millstream Falls into the GPS for starters it took me a whole way and then made me turn around and go back then when I got on the new way it wanted me to go it took me to Otto Road um, if you ever want to visit Millstream Falls and your GPS tells you to go to Otto Road, back away. That's not, there's nothing for you. I, no shade to Otto Road. I'm sure you're lovely, but you don't have a waterfall on you. There's nothing there. It's a difficult place to turn around a van. Let me tell you. And then I finally found the Millstream Falls entry and it's a gravel road. <laughs> And I called my mom and I was like, hey, can the van go on a gravel road? And she was like, don't. <laughs> Do not take that van on the gravel road. So make sure if you're wanting to visit Millstream Falls that you have a vehicle that's appropriate. So an absolute waste of an hour's worth of fuel. And what's annoying is we were in Miller Miller and I had to drive past tonight's caravan park to go on this one hour journey to nowhere. I'm irritated. <laughs> I'm so irritated. Travel fail. Massive one. Um, okay, let's just go to the caravan park at this point. All right. I'm all checked in. Um, once again, we're going to reverse this piece into the spot. So we're going to do that together. <laughs> we're going to do it together. Yeah, seatbelt on just in case I crash into the caravan park. <laughs> so we were at the Miller Miller caravan park. It was... $30 for the night. When I called up to book, the lady was like, darling, there's nobody here. <laughs> it's the low season. Don't book. Just show up. So that's what I did. Oh, he chose a really nice spot. All right, we're in M3. This is M3. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Here we go, Reversey Percy, baby! That one goes out to everyone watching in the UK. The old Reversey Percy. Your girl has done it. The People's Champion! <laughs> I've got a ticket in my hand to you. I'm canceling all my plans for you. Don't know where we're going, or what we're gonna do. Got a ticket in my head to you. Cause I'm thinking, maybe we got something. Maybe we got something. Maybe Let me we read your page from my book. Your new life is going to cost you your old one, it's going to cost you your comfort zone and your sense of direction. It's going to cost you relationships and friends. It's going to cost you being liked and understood. It doesn't matter. 
the people who are meant for you are going to meet you on the other side. You're going to build a new comfort zone around things that actually move you forward. Instead of being liked, you're going to be loved. Instead of being understood, you're going to be seen. All you're going to lose is what was built for a person you no longer are. Remaining attached to your old life is the first and final act of self-sabotage. Releasing it is what we must prepare for to truly be willing to see real change. Brianna Waste. This thing. This thing is reading my soul. I'm drained. <laughs> oh, I was sitting outside and I was like, you ever get that feeling where you're like, I need to be like in a dark, cozy space? Maybe that's an introvert thing. Maybe if you're an extrovert, you won't know what that means. But if you're an introvert, you know what that means. It's like you need to hibernate for a minute. But, you know, I just have been out. <laughs> A lot yesterday and today, more than I have been in a long time. I haven't filmed like this since last year. I'm just having that feeling like I wish someone was here. Just every now and then, <laughs> you kind of just wish you had somebody you could cuddle up with you know somebody you feel comfortable where you can let your guard down and you can talk about the day and share everything and I don't know just having that little it seems to happen around this time of day and dinner seems to fix it maybe that's a sign I need to eat <laughs> maybe I'm not lonely I'm just hungry oh my gosh Maybe making some dinner will help me. It did yesterday. Was it the beach or was it the food? Maybe it was the combo. I don't know. I don't know. I nearly let a mosquito bite me before for the for the company. <laughs> Editing that out. Editing that out. <laughs> I fully acknowledge this doesn't look delicious. But in situations like this, you're just trying to make something that tastes good, is easy, is affordable, doesn't require a lot of prep or washing up. This is that. I've eaten pasta at restaurants that's worse than that. I have. You cook that for about four and a half minutes. It's al dente, baby. It's been a lot in the last couple of days, I think you'll agree. I am hoping you can see that this whole journey is a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> it really is. It's like, it's, I said it before, but it's not even day to day. It is hour to hour, minute to minute sometimes. You know, I was having some moments this afternoon and I was like, what were you doing? You were doing so well at home. You know, you should have just stayed at home. Even just saying that aloud, just as a reminder that I can't just stay at home. I have to get back out there. And I'm so glad that I'm doing this and not going overseas because I don't think I'm ready to go overseas completely alone yet. But I will be. I just need to build my confidence back up. And I think these first couple of days have been a really good starting point for me. And I know I'm having a couple of, like down moments or a few dips here and there but overall this is really good for me it's really good for the soul and I'm finding a lot of joy and a lot of strength already a lot of confidence and that's really what I want so this is just episode one <laughs> we get a lot of road trip and we get a lot of exploring to do up here um, and just to make things clear I tried to see five waterfalls today and I saw none <laughs> So we'll be making up for that in next week's episode. Um, you will see. You will see. All right, you guys. And with that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode. And say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great weekend ahead or a great week ahead. And I will see you with a brand new episode next week.
Love ya. So damn we got something good. Something good. We got something good.